Hey, Rod Tofano. Um, I'm Rich Bodo. This is uh, the second sequel, so it's got to be good. Um, <laughs> Space Base Part 3, the tech, just when you thought it couldn't get any nerdier. Um, I come from a place of great nerdiest, nerdiness. This is me conducting high-level negotiations with Starfleet. They ended well. Um, I have many cultural dealings with the humans. Uh, I'm a collaboration enthusiast on your primitive internet. Uh, I've managed many technical projects, and I'm just generally a scrappy technical contributor and the junior member of this team. Um, I have some capabilities, too. I've deployed smart contracts. I love to document stuff uh, and uh, implement anything that will help collaboration. And I can also really care about my work. So uh, in my uh, ship, the IKV Fire Dagger, when I was uh, a Klingon, they, did, they forbade, forbade uh, aesthetics. So my slides reflect that. Um, so they are interesting. So. Uh, <laughs> um, we are, I'm, I'm to implement a funding platform and uh, to implement a networking platform. So these are, these are two things, they're kind of together. There's really three things that you do there, three main things. You find people and projects, you fund things if you need to, and you get together and you know, have gatherings. Um, I'm gonna focus on funding um, today. Um, we're basically building real things for people we have relationships with that we know they need, and using some proceeds um, that are generated by those to uh, fund primarily educational projects and get-togethers. Um, so we have a partnership with Hilo, uh, who's got an open source platform. We're working with them to expand that to uh, meet the capabilities of, of the networking platform. Um, I'm gonna talk about one case study, a, a something that we want to build soon. Um, Eric mentioned hyperspectral imaging satellites. He's on the advisory board of um, uh, a hyperspectral imaging company. Um, there was a failed you know, $7 billion uh, project. This is going to be a successful $2 million project, so things have moved along, and they're ready to launch, so we're gonna try to build something they need and launch that satellite. There will be explosions. This is the second sequel after all, right? <laughs> so step one, they need to uh, fund their satellite. The way that satellite services generally sold is, uh, or they intend to sell, is uh, it's like selling a seat on an airplane. You get, you get an hour of use of the satellite, right? You just buy that. So you're gonna buy this token. Uh, you're gonna give them some cryptocurrency. They're gonna pre-sell these before the launch. They'll have the money then to launch the satellite. They launch it, it's in space. You redeem your token uh, for the hour that you choose and save the world with your uh, great research. Um, then they're on a market. So these to tokens, if you didn't use it, you have it. Satellite didn't blow up. We assume now that it's worth more, right? Because less risk, new features. So that's great. That's a, a, a mechanism for funding things. Um, blockchain isn't the only way to implement that. It just happens to be the best, uh, I think. Um, and it's the kind of tool set I like to work with. So we're very excited about it. There are a lot of big ecosystem that we can leverage for that. So they, they can fundraise pre-launch. They're very happy about that. They can join forces with other satellite services. I just got Ashley to uh, be our advisor. So she can help me figure out how to, how to do consortia of that. Um, and they're, they're just generally more opportunities for, for automation for them of some of these processes. Um, so customers also get, you know, to resell their token if they bought in advance, trade it for another token at a different time. Uh, you know, you can do this kind of yield management pricing that airlines do and get things at a lower price or make more, more revenue. So generally this is the type of thing that, that we'd like to build. Um, uh, satellite businesses could, you know, just build these things themselves, and there could be, you know, a million of them. But we support collaborating, so this is all open source software we're building, and we think uh, we might be able to get some collaborators on things like this. Um, too geeky, too geeky. Okay, so the um, um, the the idea of how do we fund things, how do we fund uh, educational projects, just doing that. 
I mean, I didn't really explain anything. Well, there are people who want stuff and like investors might want to get in early because they need a lot of satellite time, right? And so they would have to buy our token in exchange for currency. We use that revenue to fund educational projects. There are people who may want to uh, make a job posting on our site if our networking platform is good. They have to buy our token. We use that to fund educational projects. So there are ways to use gating tokens for impact. Look, Ma, no ICO. Um, and that's, that's it. That's, uh, that's the type of stuff I want to build. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, we're in early days. We, we know what some companies need. Um, and we know that we can build some of that stuff. Um, <clears throat> but uh, honestly, I'm, I'm the super junior person in, in this group. I'm still learning from Eric. I'm still learning from M. And I really need to learn more uh, about products that we can build that uh, the space industry needs. We want to bring local communities onto our board um, so that we can build the right educational projects. Um, and we want to have the, the local governments to have a seat on the board and have some skin in the game too. So those are people that we want to talk to a lot. Sure. Thank you.